Hey guys, the Comics Kid 2099 here, and last night I went to go see the movie The Man from Uncle, and I wanted to quickly give you my thoughts on the movie. Uh, I really enjoyed it. I've seen three movies this calendar year uh, Terminator Genesis, uh, Fantastic Four, and now The Man from Uncle. Out of all three of these films, it's my favorite one that I've seen this year. So, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, then again, some people would say that those other two movies that it is competing against that I saw weren't very good, so that's not saying much, but I really enjoyed this movie. Uh, it's directed by Guy Ritchie. It has uh, Henry Cavill and I believe Army Hammer is his name, uh, the guy from the Lone Ranger movie. I've never seen him in anything else before. And then there's this other girl. I've never seen her in anything else, and I don't remember her, her name. Uh, but she was in the movie Ex Machina, which I haven't seen, but I've been seeing a lot of people kind of praise her in that movie. Uh, and uh, it's based on a TV show from the 1960s, which I have never seen. I've never seen anything about the TV show. In fact, going into this movie, I didn't know anything about the TV show. And right off the bat, I'm going to go ahead and tell you the plot really quickly. Basically, America is teaming up with Russia to stop this end-of-the-world scenario. And they've got their best agents working together to stop this scenario. And if you've seen any of the trailers, then you know that already uh, because I was trying to avoid the trailers but anytime I got on YouTube there'd be this 30 second trailer for the movie and so if you've seen any of the trailers you already know that much and if you know anything about the TV show then you could probably figure out that this movie is basically a two hour origin story for the TV show. I'm gonna spoil things a little bit but the TV show is about this organization called Uncle which is a collection of uh, governments from around the world working together to stop bad guys. Uh, and so in the TV show you had an American agent, you had a Russian agent, and you had a British agent. And so in this movie, this is the origins of that organization coming together. And so if you don't like origin stories, you might not like this movie as much. Especially if you are a big fan of the TV show, you might not like that they felt the need to do a two-hour origin story just showing how these guys met each other. Um, but I really enjoyed this movie. Now, I've seen a lot of people say that this is all style, no substance, and I don't really understand that complaint in this movie, because it has just as much story as any James Bond movie that I've ever seen before, and it's much more fun than any James Bond movie I've ever seen before. So I don't really understand all these people saying there's no story here, it's all just a whole bunch of flair, but there's no substance. I don't get that. Um, maybe there's not a lot of substance, but what were you expecting in a movie about spies trying to prevent the end of the world? Uh, I think it delivers everything that it promises that it will deliver in the trailer. I don't really think that this movie shortchanges audiences. I don't think that it tricks people into going to see a movie that they think that they're seeing, but they're actually getting something different. I had a lot of fun watching this movie. Uh, then again, I'm not a fan of the TV show. Uh, I know that uh, comic book writer Marv Wolfman, he was really bashing this movie, but he said going into it that he was a big fan of the TV show, and then he said, uh, but that has nothing to do with why he didn't like the movie. And I'm thinking, uh, it sounds like you're kind of bringing your expectations from the TV show into this movie. Uh, as someone who never watched the show, I had a whole lot of fun watching this. Uh, it's not a perfect film, though. There are a few things that I didn't like about it. Uh, number one, I'm pretty sure that uh, Army Hammer's character is never actually named on screen. Uh, I could be mistaken. I've only seen the movie once, but I don't recall them ever mentioning his name. Uh, the character of Napoleon Solo is mentioned a few times, and he always calls the Russian agent Red Peril, or Peril. And then the Russian agent calls him Cowboy. And so they got this little uh, nickname thing going on, but I don't think they ever mentioned the name of the Russian agent. And so that was something that... Uh, it almost felt like they expected you to be a fan of the TV show and know a little bit about the TV show, which I don't. So uh, that was something that I didn't have going into this movie. Also, uh, the bad guys, uh, their whole evil plan involves uh, having their very own nuclear bomb and the capability of building a nuclear bomb uh, for whenever they need one. I wasn't entirely clear on their motivations. Are they doing this just because their mommies didn't love them when they were kids? Or are they doing this for the money? Uh, it's not really made clear and maybe again that's one of those things where they explained it briefly at one point in the movie and I just missed it uh, but I wasn't super clear on why they're doing what they're doing other than we are the bad guys and we twirl our mustaches because we are so evil uh, I wasn't really clear why they were doing it and then um, 
the organization that is doing all this bad stuff, it is an organization. It's not just a couple of private citizens. And I don't think they ever mentioned the name of that organization. And I don't know if this is a situation where Guy Ritchie wants to uh, set up the possibility of a sequel. And maybe in the sequel, that organization will be more prominent in the movie. Kind of like how uh, the Daniel Craig James Bond movies have slowly built up to Quantum or Spectra or whatever they're calling themselves this week. Uh, they've slowly built up to that. I wonder if they're trying to do that in The Man From U.N.C.L.E. Uh, because I was looking up the TV show, and in a TV show, it's an evil organization that has initials, kind of like U.N.C.L.E. It stands for something. Uh, but they don't ever mention the name of this organization in the movie. And I feel like they could have done a better job of saying, hey, this Russian guy, his name is such and such. Hey, this evil organization that you're fighting, their name is such and such. Uh, that's really my biggest problem with the movie. I would still say this movie is an A-. Uh, it does exactly what it sets out to do. It's a heck of a lot of fun. I really enjoyed myself. Favorite movie of the year so far. Uh, and like I said, maybe that's not saying much when the other two movies I saw were Terminator, Genesis, and Fantastic Four. But I still enjoyed myself. I definitely wouldn't mind seeing this movie again. Um, I think that anyone who's in the mood for a fun action movie, not something that's just really uh, bleak and dark and grim and gritty, but fun and lighthearted, uh, you will enjoy this movie. And if you're in the mood for some spy-fi uh, in the melee of kind of a 1960s James Bond or the Man From U.N.C.L.E. TV series or like old Nick Fury comics, uh, The Avengers, uh, not Captain America and Thor, but uh, Steed and Peel. If you're in the mood for that sort of uh, action, then this movie is perfect for you. Um, so that's all I have to say about The Man From U.N.C.L.E. I hope that you guys like this review, and I will see you guys uh, in the future with some other videos. Take care.